In today's video, we are gonna learn how to create interactive courses and quizzes in minutes using iSpring Suite. Let's get started! Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I have a really interesting tutorial that I want to share with you and it will be about a tool that will help you all create custom interactive presentations that you can publish as classes or quizzes for your employees, co-workers or even students within minutes. That tool is iSpring Suite, and just to be transparent, yes, this is a sponsored video. The team from iSpring Suite contacted me with their collaboration proposal, and after I had a chance to take a look at their tool, I decided that it could add value to all of you, so here we are. Now, those of you who follow this channel know the type of presentations we create here, right? We usually work with interactive elements, we try to create presentations that engage our audience and make them feel interested in what we have to say, but the problem is that creating all this stuff takes time. And we may spend hours creating an interactive presentation and after that most likely we are gonna have a sharing problem. Depending on the purpose of your presentation or course, sharing your presentation with the world may be difficult. What is the right format? What if somebody in your team, for some reason, cannot open your presentation file? What if you need to apply a quiz right after your presentation? How do you track this course? And so on. Well, iSpring Suite has created a piece of software that aims to solve these issues. And everything starts with purchasing a subscription, downloading the add-on, and installing it. Once you have downloaded the add-on, this will be automatically added to your PowerPoint instance. To open it, you just need to click on this button that will appear over here, and that's it. You are ready to start working in your next course or quiz. Here I have a default template that I took from the slide templates library, which is a feature we are gonna review in a minute. This is pretty basic, okay? Nothing very interesting, but this comes perfect just for the purpose of this video to show you what we can do with this tool. So first, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is all about interaction. This tool is meant to help you add interactive elements that increase the engagement while delivering the message you want your audience to receive. So for example, let's suppose um, this is a course you are sharing with your coworkers or students, and now you want to challenge their knowledge about the subjects you have shared. Well, here you can create a quiz. The first step is to select the slide you want to create a quiz on. You can choose any of the slides you have here or you can create a new one. I will create a new one just to make sure that I don't delete the content in my presentation. So I select this presentation, this slide I mean, and now I click on quiz. A new window will pop up. As you can see here, I already created a quiz when I was exploring the capabilities of iSpring Suite, but now we're gonna create a new one to show you the complete process. Here you have two options, a graded quiz, which is the classic quiz where you get a score at the end, or a survey in case you just want to create a set of questions to get feedback from your audience. So let me create a graded quiz, I click on it, and now I will be presented with all the tools to create my quizzes. So everything starts with adding a question, of course, I will add this matching question. And let me add one more to show you what we can do here. Let's select this multiple response question. First, I have two views here, the form view and the slide view. The slide view will let me see how my quiz will look like, including the end screen. And on the form view, I will be able to edit my quiz, okay? So as you can see here, I can select the final message of the quiz, and I can also drag and drop the questions to reorder the elements inside a quiz. Of course, everything inside my question can be edited, the items, the matches in this match type question, the response at the end of the questions in case the response from the, the answer from the user is correct or incorrect, the score, and also the behavior. Look at this. I can click on here and select, for example, the finish quiz option. In case the person choose the correct response, this quiz will not move the person to the next question, to question number two. It it will finish the quiz. But let's suppose that everything is done here, I just need to click here on save and return to course and now my quiz will be added to the slide I selected. In this case, slide number four. 
Okay, so now the next thing we definitely want to review is the ability we have inside Spring Suite to add interaction. This is a tool we can use to create complex animated elements that help us communicate with our audience without spending hours in the design and animation process. Because, let's face it, not all of us have two or three hours per day to dedicate to animating our slides. So, for example, um, I don't know, let me choose this other slide and let me click here on interaction. A new window will pop up, very similar to the one we just saw when we were creating our quiz. Now we just need to click here on new interaction and here we can choose among all the elements available inside a tool. So let's suppose that I click on this one, hit create interaction and now we just need to wait for it to load. Okay, so this is like an accordion to present your frequently asked questions. Here you can edit the question, the response, and after you are done, just click on save and return for the element to be added to your presentation. But in case you want to take a look at it, just to know if it looks like you want, click here on preview. This is also something you can do on your quiz. And as you can see, here you are presented with the element exactly as it will appear on your presentation. And look at this. This is something really interesting about iSpring Suite. All the elements are responsive. That means that it doesn't matter in which screen your user is interacting with your presentation. All the elements will fit the screen of your user. This is something that is really, really hard to achieve. I mean, impossible to achieve if you share a traditional PowerPoint presentation. I mean, it is good to know that regardless the, si the screen size, your users will be able to interact with what you have created. So once you are done, click here on save and return, like I said, and now the element, the interactive element is being added to your presentation. Now, remember, we are starting with a presentation here, but what we are creating is a complete online course that people can interact with. And to do so, we are gonna hit this publish button here in a minute, and this will give us the possibility to share our presentation with everybody in a couple of clicks. But before we do that, let's move to this section called slide templates. This is also called the content library, and the interesting thing about this is that it helps you to overcome the blank page. You know, that feelings that we face sometimes when we don't know uh, how to get it started, um, what design to use, how to organize our elements. Well, here you are going to find a bunch of templates already optimized to help you organize your content. And all you need to do is to click on it, download the templates, and they will be automatically added to your presentation. So by using this library, you can overcome the blank page and get some additional inspiration for those cloudy days. Of course, as you probably know, I always recommend that you use your own creativity, that you create your own stuff, but if by any chance you feel stuck and unable to move forward, if you have a resource to get everything ignited. So as you can see, we have several tools here inside iSpring Suite to help us speed up the process of creating courses, quizzes, presentations, interactive elements and stuff. And if that is not enough, we also have the ability to record audio, record video, manage narrations, and even screen recording. Remember, probably some of these features are already included in your classic version of PowerPoint, but here here you have a version enhanced with the ability to publish courses and quizzes in a format that your audience will for sure be able to interact with. And that takes me to the publishing options. Let's click on this button here to see what iSpring Suite has to offer. Here, the first option will be to publish your course in your computer. This is good, for example, when the people listening to your message will interact one by one with a single element, let's suppose, I don't know, a quiz or any learning resource you are including in your presentation. They will interact with it one by one in the computer you are presenting on. In that case, you can even use the HTML5 format and have your audience to interact with the course in your computer, for example. Just click on publish and you will have your course published on the folder you have here. The second format you have available is the video format. You can use it, of course. Just remember that in case you publish your presentation as video, your audience, the people in your audience will not be able to interact with any elements you have added. For that purpose, you need the HTML5 format. Here also you have the iSpring Space, iSpring Learn, 
and LMS options that are here to help you publish courses. In iSpring Space, for example, you're gonna have this URL available. This is the URL you are gonna share with your audience and they will be able to log in and interact with your presentation easily. This is available only in HTML5 because here the presentation will be published in a format that is responsive and compatible with mobile devices. But probably one of the most exciting features here is the ability you have to publish directly to YouTube in video format. Here, the only thing you have to do is to sign in, complete the information you are being asked here, and click on publish. And iSprint Suite will take care of the rest. So, in summary, this is definitely a tool that teachers and professionals having to create courses on a daily basis will find truly useful, and it is definitely something we can continue to review in future videos, we can continue exploring the functions we have here, in case you are interested in it. If you want, we can continue exploring iSpring Suite to see what we can do, what kind of presentations we can create, what kind of interactive elements we can add to our presentations, and how we can publish those creations for the world to see. By the way, let me know in the comments, what do you think about this tool? Do you find it useful? What do you think about creating more videos for the channel talking about iSpring Suite? I will be very, very glad to know your thoughts. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever I submit a new video. Take care and see you next time.